Hi there, this is Dyke Castiano, and in this video we're going to do a review on this 1968 Chevrolet Chevelle SS396 made by Aero American Muscle in a 1218 scale. So stay with me to the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't subscribed yet. Give me a thumbs up, share this video, and also hit the bell for news. So let's unbox this car and take a better look at it. In 1968, Chevelle has changed completely its style, and it didn't happen just to Chevelle, but to Oldsmobile, Buick, Pontiac, and all the divisions started having new shapes and completely new cars for 1968. In 1969, Chevelle has changed just slightly, just some minor changes such as grille, at rear end, tail lights, some trim cushions, small details really as we've noticed in some previous videos in which I've shown 1968 and 1969 Chevelles. This car is made in this very nice dark metallic blue with a vinyl roof. This white vinyl roof looks really very elegant with this dark blue. The only thing Earl's missed is an opening trunk. That would be very desirable for this kind of car, especially because this trunk lid is a separate part. Anyway, the car is still very nice and very attractive. The chromes are good, the painting quality is good, the wheels and tires, so all details are really very attractive in this car and very realistic as well. Now with all opening parts, it's a pity this trunk doesn't open. This car is really very nice. It has very nice opening doors, opening hood, very nicely detailed engine. There's a 396, a 325 horsepower engine. Besides having a nice performance, it's a very good looking car. The rear and the bumper are very realistic. The SS logo, with SS 396 right here at the tip of the grill. That looks very nice. And the mesh is very well reproduced. One thing that could improve this mesh is to darken those openings with the black paint to give a little more realism but still looks very good and very nice the grill for 69 would have another trim right here in the middle and a different mesh headlights and directional lights look very realistic the bumper looks very well made with no flashings no issues no cast markings at all logo right here in front is a decal it's not a photo etched but in the right proportion with a good quality and the painting on this car has a very good quality as well it doesn't have any flashings doesn't have any rashes or issues of any type hinges are just a little bit too thick but are according to the standard of this model car since this is a simpler model car it would be very desirable to have this car in the authentics collection and the windshield wipers and the cowl are very well reproduced the engine with the valve covers and the air filter pan all chrome plated look very nice and very realistic we can take manifold that's made in aluminum color and we can see some hoses basically but no cables and wires just like in more sophisticated and expensive brands brake master cylinder and the engine bay look also very good battery radiator hose and interior we can notice the dashboard that's made in plastic great spokes in your wheel they have a pretty good realism gauges are made with decals and stickers mock the real gauges and still have those pieces that mock the real dashboard door panels are very good the hinges are the simpler ones just like we find in the basic auto models this is a mechanical car so we have all three pedals and the carpet is plastic texture it's all black interior and the seats tilt to the front the gear lever and a central console a radio central console glove compartment lip and the plastic carpet. One more look at the interior. The dashboard really looks very nice. The headliner, which is cast in plastic in the same piece, that's the window piece for this car. It's not really the best one, but uh, not bad really for this category of model car. Sometimes we find even more expensive models that don't have a headliner. The rear of the car, it looks very nice. The lights are made in acrylic. The rear panel with an SS badge. It's made in flat black and chrome. Just like in a real car, it looks very attractive and very nice. The trunk lock that's cast in metal. Unfortunately, the trunk lid is fixed. A dual exhaust could use a little painting and a little detailing here. And the reverse lights right here in the bumper. The bumper is also good. The car from underneath has a pretty good quality. As we noticed, Cyril has done a pretty good job in this undercarriage with detailed front and rear suspensions. The mufflers are painted in correct color. The gas tank. 
A drive shaft, which is fixed, does not spin. The engine and transmission in the correct colors, they are correctly painted. They are not just cast in plastic. I would just paint the Zoya filter. And even the starter here is in black, a separate part, which is a very nice detail. The exhaust manifolds, front wheel steer, just like it happens to the 1 to 18th cars. And the wheels and tires look very nice and very well detailed. A very attractive car with a very attractive color. And those red striped tires, similar to what happened to Mopars at a time. Vent windows, eliminated in 69. Ranking this car from 0 to 10, I would give it a 9.5. I think it deserves a very solid 9.5. It just doesn't deserve a 10 because it doesn't have an open trunk. So a very nice and attractive muscle car and a very nice casting made by Earl. So I'd like to thank you for all likes and views, for all subscriptions. Please check your subscription and do subscribe in case you haven't subscribed yet. And also give me a thumbs up, share this video. Let me know down in your comments what you think about the car and about the video. And don't forget to ring that bell for news and stay tuned for next videos that are about to come. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.